Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I just wanted to have a little catch-up chat with you and just tell you about some random things that are going on in my life. So it's been quite a while since I did one of these, but I think it's fun to just sit down and chat about bookish and non-bookish things and just tell you a little bit about my life if you find that interesting. I find it interesting for the people that I'm subscribed to, so hopefully you will too. So let's talk trips. So last weekend I went over to Indiana just for the weekend and it was to go to the wedding of a family friend which was so much fun. And I got to see my mom and my dad and my sister which is awesome. I'm used to seeing my family like once a year if I'm lucky so anytime I get to see them more often than that is just so great. And then planning to go to California for two weeks in July which I'm so excited about. There's a few different things going on. We're gonna do some things for my brother, and I'm also gonna be a bridesmaid at my best friend's wedding. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. So, and then also my family has been talking about doing another little family trip while we're all there, because it's quite rare that we're all in the same place, you know, for an extended period of time. So maybe we can also do a mini family trip while I'm in California. And then I'm planning to go back to California in August because another one of my good friends from college is getting married. So it's wedding season, weddings galore, but I'm really excited that I'll get to travel a bit this summer. Another life update, I have to move. Boo! <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the apartment search at all because I feel like, I mean, I've only searched for apartments in New York, but I feel like it's the worst. I don't think it's good anywhere, but I feel like in New York in particular, it's especially bad. So I'm not looking forward to that bit at all. But the optimistic part of me is like, you might find a really great place and it will be exciting to live in a new place and decorate it and all of that fun stuff that comes when you are making a home. So we'll see. I'm also sad though to leave this place because I love it. I've lived here for three years, uh, a little over three years actually, and it's in a great location and I love what I've done with my room and it just feels like home. So it's sad and maybe a little bit exciting and also a bit stressful, so wish me luck. I have a bit more time. My lease is not up until the end of May, but the housing market is crazy y'all, so we'll see what happens. One thing I am 100% excited about is Independent Bookstore Day. So it is happening this Saturday, April 30th, and basically it's a day to celebrate independent bookstores, your local bookstore. So last year I snagged one of my friends and we went around to four bookshops in Manhattan and I vlogged a little bit, so I'll leave a link to that video if you want to take a look. But I'm really excited to check out some new bookstores and I've been working on planning my itinerary, so We'll see. I definitely want to hit up shops that I've never been to before, or maybe only been to briefly. We'll see. But I'm not going to go to my usual haunts, is the point. So it should be a lot of fun. I definitely want to go out and support New York City bookstores, and yeah, I'm going to buy some books. But it's for a good cause, <laughs> says every book lover everywhere. Definitely let me know if you have any plans for Independent Bookstore Day. I'd love to hear about them, and if I do buy some books, you'll probably see some sort of haul coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> In other random not news, so I've been trying to teach myself calligraphy, and I'm specifically starting off with brush calligraphy. Instead of your typical pointed pen calligraphy that you have a nib and ink that you dip into, these are more like markers, and so you just kind of write with them, but in in a specific style. So I've been trying to learn how to do that. Calligraphy is something that I've always wanted to learn and I just have never really spent enough time on it, but I'm trying to make myself practice and do the drills. I would love to take a class one day. I tried to do an online class and I think the class was good, but I'm someone I know who learns better by having someone in front of me doing it and showing me how to do it and then you know, they can be there to help me or correct me on what I'm doing wrong. So hopefully I'll be able to take an in-person class one day. For now, I've read a bunch of posts on different blogs and I've printed some practice worksheets and I'm going from there. So yeah, I think I've Snapchatted a couple times when I've been practicing. So maybe that's something I'll do more of if people like seeing it. 
And back to books for a bit. So about two weeks ago now, I got to see Hanya Yanagihara in conversation with Stephen Kolb at Noya House. And this was my second time seeing her and I was like, I cannot miss this event. Anytime she does a New York event, I want to be there. <laughs> anyway, she was in conversation with Stephen Kolb, who's a member of the CFDA, and he asked her about her book and her writing experiences. And it, she's just so great. So, so great. She talked a lot about the way that she sees New York City and in the book, you know, she's stripped away a lot of the place markers. So specific events and things that would put you in a certain time. And she, she talks about how she did that on purpose and she wanted it to be more of the psychological New York. The New York where everyone is ambitious and hustling and gunning for that promotion and it's just you know, a rat race in a sense. So she wanted to focus more on that New York. And she also talked about how that really she sees A Little Life as a book about romance. In her mind, there are two main romances between two characters. Um, so if you haven't read the book, I won't say anything else. But if you have read the book, maybe leave a guess down below as to what the two pairings are. I'm sure you can guess it. But anyway, it was just really, as always, fascinating to hear her talk about the book. She is hilarious, so funny, like she cracked all of these jokes. Her interviewer mentioned something about reading the book and he's like, I know not all of my friends have read it yet, but I'm telling them to. And she's like, not all of my friends have read it either, but they've bought it and that's all that matters. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Just little quips like that made me chuckle so much. This was a much bigger event than the first time I saw her. The first time I saw her it was really intimate and it was in a smaller bookstore, but this was at Noya House and there were like three sections with a lot of people. So I didn't end up staying to have my book signed again. I would brought my hardcover copy with me because I learned my lesson last time, even though I did not mind at all buying the paperback. Yeah, so I didn't get to speak with her again, but hopefully she will do another event and I will get to chat with her because I would love to do that. Like I would mentioned before, the few author events I've been to have just been so wonderful and I just leave feeling so... Ugh, I don't know, like so happy and like proud to be a reader and I'm like nerding out that I got to see an author that I really admire. So that's just an awesome feeling and I need to keep going to events because I have so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this chatty video about nothing in particular. I hope you enjoyed watching and if there's anything that I talked about that you want to talk to me about more in the comments below, please do. I hope you are having a great Tuesday, and if you want to talk to me elsewhere, I am on Instagram, Goodreads, Twitter, Snapchat. I'll leave every one of my links down below. Oh, look at this guy, just chilling in the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Our good boy. Say bye! Bye!